Hello everyone, this is Engineer Hussam. I'm going to explain to you uh, section of you. The course objective understand sections and cut in plain line, apply correct section line practice, recognize and draw section line for 10 different materials, draw section view, giving two view drawing, demonstrate correct hidden line practice for section view, identify seven types of section, apply section technique to create clear interpretable drawing, demonstrate the proper technique for section ribs, whips, and spoke, use hatch when using conventional breaks and how to elongate object, interpret drawing that include section views. This is the course objective. Now we'll start with understanding section view. What is section view? What do you need to know about section view? Okay, first of all, section view enable you to show, to see the internal part of the object. It will see show interior that cannot be illustrated clearly by hidden lines. Interior are shown by slicing through an object. As an example, this watermelon. Now you, after you cut the watermelon, you can see it clearly from inside. Okay, uh, for the cylindrical object, 3D model that I can show you. I have two different or several diameters, several sizes for diameters. Here in yellow, I can show you I have big diameter and small diameter at the end. By adding section view, cut the part, now you can easily see the part from inside. Okay. Now visualizing section views. How to see section views? Usually when you look to the object from the front view, you are able to see hidden lines, okay? only hidden lines that represent the interior part of the object. In order to see uh, the object clearly, you need to add several steps. First step, you have to add cutting plane line. This work plane is called cutting plane line. And this work plane line will cut, indicate the place that you are cutting the object. And the arrow indicate the placement of your eyes, which view you are targeting because you are going to remove one object when you cut the part into two pieces you are going to move to remove one object and keep the other one so after you put the cut and plane line it's important you add direction of the arrow and then that mean you which part you want to choose in this case we will remove this part that's close to us why because the direction of the arrow indicating to the other direction that mean i i need to use that part to look inside not this part see after I did the cut, now I'm splitting the parts into two pieces. And from the top of you, you have to draw the cut in plane line. So you, you steps for, uh, for doing section view, you have to add cut in plane line in the top view. And in the front of you, we will replace visible line by hidden line. I will show you. See, this part has to be removed in order to clearly see the object. Now, using this arrow, now you can easily see the internal part of the object. By seeing this part of the object, now you can add section view and you can call this one label AA or section AA. So this is how easy you can represent the section view. In this view, we are showing you a normal top of view or front view. Into the right side, this is section view. Into the left side, normal with hidden lines. See how complex is with, uh, with hidden lines but with section view it's more clear this front view has correct section view is B okay so B is the correct section view what I want you to do now is to compare C D E and F with B okay because B is the correct one we have done the correct section in section cutting plane line and we get the result for B okay now we want to compare C D E and F with correct view B okay what are the mistakes for C, visible edge cannot bounded, uh, vis visible edge and contour behind the cutting plane line show. So you should keep visible lines behind the object. What's wrong with this one? Section view are used primary to replace hidden line. So the rule for hidden line should be omitted. You need to omit or remove the hidden line from the back. For the third one, section line area always completely bounded by visible line. You should change hidden line to visible line. What's wrong with the last one? Section line and section view must be parallel at, at the same angle. The angle for section lines has to be at the same angle, the same direction, 45 or 135. We have different type of material used for section line. Slicing section line simple can be used to indicate 
the specific material. The first one is cast iron, but this is the standard one. But if you need to cut in steel, in plastic, or any other material, we can use. So this is the standard pattern, which this standard pattern comes from the cast iron. Okay, but as I said before, this is not the only pattern that we have. We have different shapes. We have steel. We, we can use for plastic. We can use for wood. Whatever material you are sectioning, you have to use the correct uh, type of pattern. Uh, the correct method for drawing section line is to shown in is shown in Figure A. What's wrong with others? The first one has distance 2.5 millimeter, and the angle is at 45 degree. B is cor incorrect, C incorrect, B irregular spacing. You don't have to make the distance 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 0.5 millimeter. It's wrong. C, they are too close. We shouldn't make them 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, or 0.25. The th D, you are using thick and thin lines. Section line should be all the time thin. For E, the lines are too thick. We shouldn't use thick lines while we are doing section line. The last one, lines are short or overrunning. We shouldn't make the lines short or overrunning. What if part of the object, part of the object is at 45 degree? In this case, we have to adjust the angle of the section lines because we cannot change the part of the object. It is 45 degree. We have to make it 30 degree or 60 degree, the section lines. In this case, we are showing you we can do different sections at the same view. A, B, whatever you want, horizontal, vertical. What type of cutting plane line? We have to use thick lines for the ANSI standard, and for the ISO standard, they are using thin lines. The placement of the section view after you, you do cutting plane line, all the time has to be behind the arrow. So this is the arrow behind the arrow. Uh, B is wrong because view should be in the left side, not on this side, because this is the arrow direction. The last one, the view is correct, but you have to flip the arrow direction in order to make it correct. Okay, what type of section views we have? We have full section, offset section, we have half section, broken out section, revolved section, and removed section. Widely, they are used full section, offset section, and half section, they are the most widely used in the industry and in engineering drawing. Okay, I will demonstrate with you uh, each one of them. So this is the full section view. The view is made by passing a straight cutting plane line completely through, through the part. In this case, we are completely cut the part from the first to the end of the part. Okay, so completely cut the part from the beginning to the end. Here is a 3D printed uh, view, 3D printed part that I created. I want to show you that I did the cut in the middle. When I did the cut in the middle using cutting plane line, now easily I can split the views into two pieces. Okay. See in the 3D printed part, I can split the part into two pieces. In this case, when you when you move, look to the front view. You, you can you can remove one part and you look to the front view. Now the example here, yes, we can see inside the part. The example is showing you we did the full section view by adding cutting plane line completely from the beginning of the part to the end of the part. So we literally cut the part from the beginning to the end. And now, whenever we can see from the middle, we have to, to reflect it on the front of view. Now, this will be no more front of view. This will be replaced by section view. Okay? And here's the new location. Don't forget to change the hidden line to visible line. Okay? And I want to mention that the holes, we are not doing section for the holes because they are they were empty from the beginning there is no material inside them okay and the area from the top doesn't uh, doesn't have been section uh, the section line did not pass through it that's that's why we keep it empty without section lines okay so yes this material in red will be sectioned the arrow in blue indicate the material that will not be sections. These three holes, as I said before, will not have a section view because they are empty. Only section view for the part that contain material inside it. Okay. 
Now we have other type of section called offset section view. Offset section view, the view is made by passing the bended cutting plane completely through the part. In this case, we need to bend our cutting plane line 90 degree. Remember, you cannot bend it at 45 or 30 degree. You cannot use arc. You, all the time you have to use straight lines at, and you have to pass through the features. As you can see in the 3D printed part that I created for you, I have different features. So it's impossible to pass one full section view and pass through all of them. In this case, we have to pass the cut and plane line through each feature individual. And after I finish from one feature, I have to bend my cut and plane line 90 degree. If I am using horizontal, I bend it vertical and then I go horizontal again through the part. So as you can see here, I have to use Yes, it's not recommended. It's, it's incorrect to use bending line or a line. You have to use vertical and horizontal at 90 degree. Okay. Uh, now for the example in green, I can show you that we have three features. I have small hole. I have cylinder that have, has hole and I have the uh, slot. Okay. What I done is I bend the cutting plane line through these three features. And in the top view, if you can see here one and two and three, the cross section, you will see that the cross section or the cutting plane is passed through three features. Then what you have to do, remove the front view, the part that you cut, and look to the feature from inside. So you will replace hidden line with visible line. So this is the section front view. Okay? And I have to show the three features that I created. Okay, half section view. This view is made by passing the cutting plane halfway through an object and remove quarter of it. See, in my 3D printed part, I can show you that I remove quarter of the object. And then after remove the quarter of the object, you look to the part from the front of you. After you look to the part from the front of you, you will see two views only. One, you can see internal part of the object, and you can also see the external part of the object at the same view, because you remove quarter of it. Okay, so you can see inside or internal part and external part. When you look to the cutting plane line in the example in the pink, you will see that we removed quarter of the object. And now you look to the object from inside. Okay, you look to the object from inside. Yes, so you will see this part is inside, which is this part. And that part on the other side is external part. Broken out section, this view is made by passing the cutting plane line normal to the viewing direction and remove the portion of an object out of it, in front of it. In the broken out section, as I show you in my example in the 3D printed part, what we done is, it is very similar to, you can say, full section. But instead of having full section, as an example, this part has two holes in the 3D printed part that I created. Okay, I don't want to make complete full section of you. I can remove only small portion of the object. And if I remove cut, I did cut in the object, I have to use short break line in this case. Okay, short break line in this case. And then when you look to the part, you the two holes will not appear. Only you can see one hole and the other hole you cannot see it because it's inside the object. That's why you can only see part of it. What's the benefit of having broken out section? Sometimes you have complicated part, very complex part. Your computer cannot withstand all the processing or will, the software will crash. You don't need to show everything. So you only choose the part. So the example in pink show you, in pink show you that you can utilize this section, broken out section, by having part of the object to be cut. And the rest will be remain hidden line. Then you have revolve section. What's the benefit of revolve section? The revolve section show you the cross section of the part that you are cutting. So it's not recommended to use it for the hole or the cylinder. It's usually used with the bars or with the ribs or anything that you need to show the cross section of it. Okay, in this example, this part has top of view and front of view. Okay, and this part has cross section area look like eye shape. Okay, so in order to represent the part, we have to take slice of the object. But what make the revolve section important? Because when you take slice of the object, 
this is the slice then you have to rotate the object 90 degree okay the slice you are, you are taking rotate 90 degree and put it inside the object okay see in the example in the green they use cutting plane line the this is the cross section that you are seeing now if you look to the green okay and the green this here revolve section that means we have to revolve the eye 90 degree okay so look to the green here here's the point where you can see these two points okay now this is the top and this is the front of you okay so now we are going to see the eye section okay so this is the eye section after you split the part but in order to put the part in the front of you you have to rotate it 90 degree okay that's why you can see 90 degree okay and don't forget to add section lines for the revolve section sometimes yes this is the final picture for the revolve section sometimes you can add broken out section and sometimes you can leave it without broken out section in this example you can use superimposed through the view or you can use the uh, the view with broken out section what do you mean by this this part has two cross section one is from the the green one is uh, circular and the other part of the object is hexagon shape so for the green one which is circle we draw the revolve section inside the object okay we use superimposed technique that means we did not use break uh, uh, broken uh, lines for the other part of the uh, section view which is uh, hexagon we use break in order to split can we use both of them superimposed yes at the same time can we use both of them break yes at the same time you can use both of them okay so this is called revolve section because once you take this circle you rotate it 90 degree okay what's the removed section the remove section actually it is a, rev a, rev a, rev a revolve section but what's the difference between revolve section and remove section the only difference is for remove section we after we flip 90 degree we did not keep the part inside the object we remove the part outside the object that's the only difference in the coming example i will show you the how to illustrate and how to make remove okay so this is a revolve section we are using circle and we are using uh, hexagon okay and in the remove section this circle has been removed outside okay after you rotate 90 degree that's it and here this hexagon also will be removed outside after you done the 90 degree flip that's the only difference between remove section and revolve section I hope I clarified Uh, this point clearly that's it okay remove revolve revolve section inside the object remove section you remove the part outside the object removed section view sometimes you need to remove section view because as an example this part there is no place if you want to keep it revolve section view there will be no place for the revolve it will be too messy it will be conflict confusing so that's why it's better to remove it outside in this scenario so this is preferred that's one is poor sometimes we use removed section view if we have different cross section among one part okay so in this example this part has different cross sections okay so you can make different cuts not only one cut you can make cut one and cut two okay and in each cut in each as an example at AA section AA and at section BB okay so this is at section AA And this is at section BB.
So that's it. Section view, whips and ribs. In this example, we don't make section lines for whips and ribs, okay? You can see the example, which one is correct and which one is incorrect. Also another example showing you, this called rib, okay? For rib, we don't add section lines, okay? You have to keep it empty. You, and if you notice that the angles has been adjusted at 30 or 60 or 150 or 120 for the section lines because the rib is already at 45 degree. Then we have the last part called align section. Simply, if you have any part that's aligned at any angle, when you cut the part, you have to show the angle in straight way. That's it. Here, as you can see, the part in the right view, it's used through projection. In the left side, after you've done the align section, you show it as conventional appearance. When you are making assembly drawing, you have to take into account that you, the, the pins and screws, you don't add section view to them. Pins, nut, and screw, we don't add section view. And you have to remember one more information. You have to flip the directions of the arrow when you are using multiple parts to let the reader or anyone who see this drawing understand that you have multiple parts, not only a single part. Okay. As you can see, this is the part. So what we call this type of section, if you offset section, bravo. Okay, offset. So